I'm Dee Dee and I've got a story for you today. But first I want to introduce you to my little friend. Here he is. This is Barnaby. Barnaby the bar lamb. Now there's a lot of lambs in the field at the moment isn't there? And it got me to thinking of a story that you might just know. It's called The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Now this story was collected by two people who come from Norway. Their names are Asby Jonsson and Mo. They collected a lot of different stories, but this one's quite famous, isn't it? Yeah, Barnaby thinks so too. Well, I'm just going to put Barnaby down here so you can listen to Barnaby. That's good. And then I'm going to start to tell you the story. So are you sitting comfortably? Jolly good. In a field that's not too far from here, there were three billy goats gruff. There was a little billy goat. He had a tiny little beard and he had tiny little stubby horns and tiny little hooves and a little <coughs> bleat. He was the smallest of the three. And then there was the middle brother. He had a slightly longer beard, a slightly bigger, slightly curly horns and he had a slightly bigger bar. <coughs> yeah. And then there was their big brother. He had enormous curly whirly horns and a great big beard. He was an enormous goat and he went Meh. Hmm. They'd run out of food in the field they were in. So they knew that there was another field just across the bridge where they could get some lovely fresh lush grass. They could see it from here. It was much greener than the grass over here. So they knew they had to go across this bridge, but they also knew there was a troll that lived under the bridge. Hmm, they thought. So the goats, they looked at each other. Well, I'm not going first, said the goat with the curly whirly horns. And I'm not going first, said the middle goat. Do I have to go first, said the little goat? Yes, said the other two goats. Oh. So the little goat, he made his way to the bridge and he started across the bridge. And here's what he sang as he went across the bridge. Trip, trap, don't look back, over the bridge to the grass that's green. Do you want to try that too? Trip, trap, don't look back, over the bridge to the grass that's green. And as he was going over the bridge, the troll heard him and he said, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And he started to climb out from underneath the bridge. Oh, it's only me, said the little goat. Oh, you'll make a tasty dinner, said the troll. Oh, no, said the little goat. You want to wait for my brothers. They're much bigger than me. Hmm, said the troll, might not be a bad idea. And so he let the little goat carry on across the bridge and into the green grass field. Well, the big goat and the middle sized goat, they were quite pleased that they saw that their little brother had got across. So they thought, oh, we'll get across, no problem. And so the big goat said, right, middle goat, you try next. And so the middle goat, with the slightly bigger horns and the slightly bigger hooves and the slightly, slightly curlier fur, started to work his way across the bridge. And he sang as he went, trip, trap, don't look back, over the bridge to the grass that's green. And he got about halfway across when the troll said, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Just me, said the middle goat, but, don't eat me, there's a much bigger brother coming along next. Hmm, said the troll, that's what your little brother said, but I'm willing to take the chance. And so the troll went back underneath the bridge and waited. And the middle goat trip-trapped across the bridge and into the grass that was green. So next up, was the big brother goat, the big billy goat, with the long beard and the big curly whirly horns and the big trip 
trappy hooves and he thought I'm gonna get across that bridge no problem at all and off he went across the bridge trip trap don't look back over the bridge to the grass that's green and he got to the middle of the bridge and the troll sensing that his dinner had arrived pulled himself up out of the river and onto the bridge and said who's that trip trapping across my bridge me said the big goat with the big curly whirly horns and the long beard and the curly whirly fur and the big hooves it's me and you picked on the wrong goat he said and buffeted the troll off the bridge and down into the river so that the troll could do nothing but wave as he disappeared down the river. The big goat, he tripped trapped back along and joined his brothers in the grass that was green. Now, you may wonder what happened to that troll. Well, I have to say he did find another bridge, but he never, never picked on goats again. That was the Billy Goat Scruff, collected by Asby Jornsson and Mo, and I hope you enjoyed that. It's one of my favourite stories. And next time you see a goat with enormous curly-whirly horns, it might just be that one that pushed that wicked old troll into the river. What do you think? Now, I've sent you some activities that you can do to bring this story alive. You can have a go at trip-trapping across the bridge yourself and you can make some lollipop stick puppets so that you can act out the story. And I've shown you how you can make your very own troll mask if you would like to be the troll. <coughs> Don't forget, there are stories everywhere you look. Under bridges, in cupboards, up trees. There are stories everywhere. So do get in touch and let me know where you found your next story. In the meantime, you have fun enjoying Billy Goat's Gruff, and I'll see you next time. Toodle pip!